Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about advertising, your service accommodation, or any business, or any interest that you have that you can monetize. Obviously, service accommodation is a fantastic business because you can get it set up very, very quickly, and you can get quick returns. And then the profit you can make within two to three months, meaning you can start paying yourself or funding your next deal, which is what some of you do. I mean, Sam's chomping at the bit now because she's got more than enough funding to, to basically fund her next deal. So, hello everyone that's saying hello, 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 hello. So we'll talk about advertising simply because I get asked a lot about this um, and social media and that type of thing. So as you know, we run multiple businesses and we run various sort of different pages and groups and that type of stuff on Facebook. And everything that you see on Facebook is not always me posting. So sometimes I may say to you like on the WhatsApp group, I'm busy this afternoon or whatever, and yet you see posts coming in. And for those who follow our pub and hotel, for those who follow the Wealth and Success Academy, you follow my page, you follow, follow the Desk Club page we've set up, <clears throat> you might think to yourself, mate, this guy does nothing but sit on Facebook on social media. That's not true because we have other people that we use for that. Um, the personal stuff that I put up, yeah, that's about me because they don't know that. Um, you know, my personal page and, and that type of stuff. And sometimes I will share some of that. It all depends. Um, but most of the business stuff, like the pub stuff and that type of thing, is all run by someone else. Unless, of course, we're at the pub and we'll do a bit of a video and then, then we'll upload that. But that takes five minutes. You know, the other stuff takes hours and hours. So we're not, you know, <laughs> sorry to burst the bubble. I don't work that hard on social media. In fact, I prefer to stay off social media because there is so much shit, so much bullshit, so much crap. So and it creates so much anxiety for people. Oh, I haven't got a post, I haven't got this, I haven't got that, oh, I haven't got a like, I haven't got a like, I haven't got a share. The only the only reason you won't get likes and shares and, and comments is because you're not you're not on point with your advertising, you're not on point with your message. And it may be that you're just copying other people. And the people you're copying have already created that market, if you like. So if you're going to do social media and you're going to do marketing, you need to be on point about what your message is, your unique selling points and that type of thing, because some of you may be in Oxford, some of you may be in Cambridge, some of you may be in Windsor, in Bath, in York, in Manchester, Liverpool, in London. And if you start talking about London apartment, there are thousands of London apartments. So you're not going to be creating your own little niche within that market. And that this is what you need to do. Um, I'll show you some examples of, of what we do for marketing and, and that type of thing. Um, and I can share my screen today. So we've tested it, it's all good. So, the good thing about setting up a Facebook page, now a Facebook page, um, you can just go onto Facebook and just create page from your own from your own um, profile. So you go on there and you click. Uh, let me let me see if I can show you instead of just talking about it. Um, okay, so. I'll we'll talk a bit about Instagram as well. Forget Snapchat and all those type of things. Uh, we don't need that right now. Um, so here, we'll share my screen. Just pile some questions in as we go along. That'll be great. ta -da! Yay. Can you see my screen? Yes, good. <clears throat> so this is my personal page, if you like albeit 
not so personal because as you can see the main pick up the top is about creative property strategies for strategies for cash flow and long-term wealth as you know we teach service accommodation and um, rent to rent HMOs um, options development and that type of thing so and we obviously do the mentoring so a lot of this here you need to have your own personal page on point two so if you want a page just for family then create that page just for family that no one else will see but if you want to promote yourself then I'd recommend a page so you could you could name your page such as this one here so this is Ashley Banfield UK and you'll see here you actually pick the URL for your page or the app tag shall I say and then you can put your events in here and that type of thing so that's actually your page now back to you'll see here there's different stuff in here because this is my generic page so I advertise the other businesses that I have and the other pages that I run etc etc on here the Instagram the YouTube account so we have YouTube we have Instagram we have Facebook and we have Twitter um, and you need to link them all together and the way you do it is on Instagram when you're doing Instagram some of you may know this already but you go into Instagram uh, and I'll show you here I'll go on to um, let's go on to so the pub so you'll see here you have the pub that's my Instagram there now, if I were to create a post, I could simply put on um, a post or a video, let's say, for instance, dashboard of a car, and then you will click next. And when you get to share, you'll see this page here. Then you start to do the tabs like you can do Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. Now, Tumblr, it doesn't do a lot, to be fair. However, it's another way of getting your name out there. And if it's about service departments, you don't want to call your page service departments, unless your name is service departments, which is going to be hard to get that business name because it's it's well and truly probably gone. You want to be narrowing it down to your area. So it could be York, <clears throat> but it's not going to be York Apartments. It could be something specific like uh, and you need to you need to find these things out by looking up different and you can use Google AdWords um, tools for their keyword tools in there and I've done this before and I'll share that video with you later on there's another video that I've done about LinkedIn advertising and the premium listings and that type of stuff so that's more for the corporate this is to get you out there and to get people finding you if you like so if you're not telling anyone about what you do, <clears throat> pardon me, no one's going to know. And that's as simple as what marketing is. You're just letting people know what you do. And you need to be specific about your USP. All right. It could be that the the you know allergy free property. So there are no there are no carpets in the property. There are no you know, and if you take on a property you think it's got no carpets or floorboards, right, think, okay, this will be an allergy free apartment. And you can advertise it as that, you know, no feather and down in the pillows and that type of stuff. So you can advertise that specifically for that. And you'll have a lot of people who will come for that specifically for that property because it's an allergy free property. All right. So there's no flowers in there, nothing like that. Nothing that will cause sneezing, nothing. So that's that's just one idea of a USP. And there are many, 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 many hundreds and maybe more. So you can see on here. So I've just shared something from. Um, the Bill Nicholson Pub, which is obviously something that we have, Jimmy and myself, and we've got an event coming up, Alexander O'Neill, so I've shared that on my, my main page. Um, another video of the pub, the members bar is now open. Again, that's a USP that we've created in the area because there are no members bars in that area, so we've created that. Uh, and here's just a bit about me. I took my kids to Alton Towers on the weekend, and there's a roller coaster, coaster restaurant. Put stuff that's interesting, you know, it's scaring the living daylights out of my daughter. You know, all different stuff here that makes you unique as a person 
and people will start to get your thoughts. There's some information there on the TV show that Emmanuel did. Um, I think it was on the seventh on Thursday. I still haven't watched it actually, so I need to get to watch it. And some other New Year's Eve stuff and this type of thing. Brandon Block coming to a pub. You know, people I work with, people I, uh, you know, um, lunches and that type of stuff. However, then you get to the parts days. <clears throat> now I advertise a lot of your properties on here too. And to be fair, I don't promote a parts days only because. I simply don't have to because we're always got bookings and that type of stuff, right? It's because of the area that we're in. However, I am now starting to look at doing this type of thing. I mean, there's Jilly's ad there, uh, Jilly and Sarah's. I think that's their property there too. So what you need to do <clears throat> if you have like two or three likes or 10 likes or 100 likes or, or whatever it is on your on your page, you need to start promoting this to get other people to get many thousands. So what you'll do is you'll click on here, you'll see boost. So you'll write your post and then you can boost your post and you'll click boost post. And then what you'll do is <clears throat> it will ask you what you want to do. Do you get more, do you want to get more people to react, comment and share, or do you want them to connect and chat with you via messenger? And I would suggest that firstly, if you want to promote your page, you actually promote your page, whereas this is promoting a boost, uh, sorry, promoting a post. So on here, we want to get messages for that. And then here, it will get a message button that you can send. If you want to go into this one, you can choose your button that you want. And you can send, say, send WhatsApp message or send message or whatever it might be. Yeah. So it's all connected into WhatsApp now. However, we'll get it to go into your Messenger, which is all part of Facebook. You can send a welcome message here, you know, hi, please let us know how we can help. How can I make a purchase? I'm interested, blah, blah, blah. So these are the questions that will come up automatically when they go straight onto Messenger. And then they can just basically click here, you know, can I make a, uh, a purchase? But what you would do is, um, can I make an inquiry about the property or can I book the property or, you know, um, can I speak further about the property? And you'll see here that you can change these here. Right? So can I uh, can I um, uh, make an inquiry, for, for instance? Good. Whoops. <clears throat> and then here, when you go to the people you choose through our targeting, you'll see there's quite a few there that we have that we do other sort of stuff. But in here, you might say to yourself, okay, I'm going to create a new audience. And you might call it, um, let's say, uh, Windsor number one property or whatever you call it yourself, right? And you can choose men and women. We will say all. Now, because the way that I operate, I would go 22 years and above because we don't want people under that and we don't want to create that party atmosphere, if you like. You can make that 25 plus if you want. It's up to you. Now, do you want to go whole of England? I would suggest that you don't do Windsor because people living in Windsor probably don't want to stay in Windsor. But you can look at your stats where people come from and you might say to yourself, well, you know what? Most of my people actually come from China. So you can add China if you wish. You can add certain provinces, certain cities and that type of stuff. So you wouldn't want the whole of China, but I would, I would, <clears throat> concentrate on the ones where they come from. So the main cities, you may choose to, the, are there a lot of people coming from the Netherlands? Um, you can choose the Netherlands or certain cities. You can say Amsterdam or wherever it might be. And then you can add here the type of demographics. So in here, you may put, uh, you may put apart, um, accommodation, something like accommodation. And then you'll see reasonable accommodation, cheap holiday accommodation. So if you said, okay, we're going we're gonna to click that. Then once you have one in there, you can click your suggestions. Booking.com, hotels.com, blah, 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 Airbnb, tourism, TripAdvisor, holiday. You could click holiday, more suggestions, tourism. I would, I would, you know, break it down a lot more sort of granular than, than that. And as you can see here already, 26 million people because I've clicked on China, obviously. 
um, Expedia websites, Nature, if, you're, if you've got a property that's out in the, you know, treetop one or whatever it might be, hotels, um, and then so on and so forth, restaurants, if you have a restaurant in your area, family mountains, obviously you're not going to do it in a city, but it might be city breaks and all this sort of stuff. So you have to go through all of this, and then you can you can check your demographics, the type of people, um, and then you can check, um, sorry here, interest descriptions, more suggestions, browse, sorry, interests. So um, business and industry, obviously we're not gonna do that. Hobbies, activities, and you can break this down. So if you were to go to, um, I don't know, entertainment, you can do live events, you know, shopping and fashion, if that's the type of area that you're in. Um, if you're near like a big outlet or something like that in Oxford, um, we know which one it is, Vista. So you can add all of these. So you can do what you wish, right? <clears throat> then we'll save that. And then you go down to your budget. So you can choose to run it, if you like, for a specific event. So it could just be Easter. You want to do two weeks up to Easter or a week leading up to Easter. It could be that you run it until the end of the year and you just simply want to, and your budget, you might say $15, you might say $100, or you can choose your own, you can do $100, etc. And it all does it in dollars, but don't worry, it's fine. You can see here how many people you can get per day out of 25,000. And then the more you put in your budget will basically mean the more people that you will reach. You see here, one to 3,000, et cetera. Now, that's not a lot of people for that budget, simply because I haven't narrowed down the specifics that I, that I actually want to, to get in. And the area that, area that that's showing is because it's 50 days and it's a dollar a day or whatever, it needs to be a minimum of 50 days. And then from there, you can see it's a dollar a day, which is nothing. And then you have your account that you link it to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Don't worry about the Facebook pixel just now. You don't really need it right now. There's something that you create on your page. And then what you would do is from there, you will come down to here and you will boost. You will click boost. Now, if I were to change that to get more people, I'll, I'll say, uh, yeah, I'll send a message or I might say do WhatsApp message but you need to click that in. I haven't got this one linked up. And then you'll boost, let's boost, let's see what's happened, happens. This is a real time boost. You can see here what your ad will look like. You wanna try and keep this um, amount of text less than where it says see more, good. And you can see here the breakdown of what you've just, of what you've just done, yep. And then you see your overview. And be careful because they will ask you straight away to add more money. So don't do that because it's a, it's a little trap that people fall into, good. And then you can edit your posts and that type of thing. You can see what it looks like on desktop. You can see what it looks like on mobile, your mobile, somebody's mobile phone. And you can see what it looks like on Instagram. Because when you post from here, <clears throat> you need to make sure you set up the same Instagram account as well and go through your page and make sure that you have the business set up, a business account on Instagram. And then you can go through and it will automatically boost. You have to inter integrate the two, Facebook and Instagram along with your Twitter and that type of thing. And then it will instantly um, boost out to Instagram as well. Good. Uh, cancel. So, um, good. And you'll see other pages here that we have, the Bill Nicholson Pub. Um, I don't know how many followers you got. I think almost 2,000 now, something like that. Oh, here we go. It's 1,890. So that's only been going, well, yeah. And, followers and 1,868 likes. Now this has only been going since August the 4th. Um, and you can see how many uh, post reach we've had. Um, so it's quite it's quite good actually. Um, and you hear this one here is, a, is an event. And I've actually boosted that um, earlier today 
you can see is 117 engagements, 1,333 people already reached. See how many people reached, and this is not a boosted one. So we get a pretty good, we get very good engagement actually because we have our specific audience. And you can see it's kind of a Spurs pup. There's our membership. You can create a membership for your apartments if you like. So you could almost say to people <clears throat> that um, if you would like to, you know, have a loyalty card or a membership card, the membership card is going to cost you, I don't know, twenty-five pound a year, or twenty pound a year. Ours are a hundred pound a year here, and it will give you certain um, VIP treatment. So you could have a VIP or members of members card and then send those out. And these are very cheap to get produced, believe me. And you write their name on it and give their membership card. And every time they book, they can give you that as long as it's direct. Yeah, it might give them the 10%, a 10% discount or something like that. All right, we've got Christmas parties and this type of thing we're promoting and what have you. Jimmy with all of these, and then we'll have another one. So Desk Club is another page that I've recently put out there. Um, I will start doing a lot more work on that once uh, once my first property is open, which will be in the next two weeks. Uh, Wealth and Success Academy, I'm not sure how many we have on here. I think it's over 3,000 now. 3,079 followers. And you can promote your events as well. So you can put your events in here. So if you go to events, you can basically create events or boost your event. So it could be an event that's coming up, whether it be Christmas or whatever it might be. And on, on the Bill Nicholson one here, you can see events in here as well. Uh, 35,000 people reached, reached from our events. And you can see here all the different events that you put in. Now, all these events are pushed out to people within that area. So you know you're on Facebook and an event comes up. So you will actually have that, that come up there. Yes, you can track bookings as well. You'll see ticket links and this type of stuff and what have you. So it depends on, you can track whatever URL um, you put in. So let's go to an event. Let's show you. So here's, let's go to events. So I'll show you. Uh, where are you? Okay, so events here. Uh, I can boost event, share event, whatever you want to do. A lot of people share the event. Uh, so Alexander O'Neill, for instance, nine ticket clicks, uh, men audience. And you can see most of them are 35 to 44 men. 25% of the reach is, is, is men. So you can start to narrow it down and that type of thing. Good. Uh, people reach 322. So we haven't got our ticket uh, linked up on this particular event, only because at the time I didn't know how to do it. But you can boost events, sell more tickets. Because here what we have is when you click find tickets, it's via Eventbrite. So our events are done via Eventbrite. But you can link up Eventbrite and, um, <clears throat> and Facebook. So it will show you what tickets have been sold on Facebook. Good. That was a question that just came through. So, yeah, it's quite simplistic to do that. It's just something I need to do. And that's on my list today. Because otherwise, you don't get a true indication of, of what, you've, what you're getting on. I said Desk Club, Wealth and Success Academy we've talked about, Property Options Masterclass, that type of thing, when they're coming up. So you can spend, spend an hour putting in all your events for the year. So you just simply go to events. Um, Cambridge, Oxford, whatever it might be on Google and start to add all of those events in for your Facebook page or your Instagram page and then from there uh, you'll start to get your direct bookings. So it's a great way to get direct bookings. And your button here, you can add your button, whatever it might be, the, the button could be, um, you know, make a booking with you, contact you. So I'll do one here actually. Uh, so. We'll do contact you. Uh, we'll just do send message right there. And this is how you just add a pay, add a, add a button. And it will go to Messenger. Uh, good. And then you can configure what you're going to do in here. There you go. We now have a button added. Test a button. 
There you go, it goes through and you just type your message and you can see here, we've got those questions already set up. They can just click on that. So if they're gonna go in here and how much does it call that? And it sent me a message already. Good, it's as simple as that. Facebook is great for advertising. And in here you can see if I'm on Eventbrite, this is where you, you import your event if you have one in, on Eventbrite. Good, and that's where you can start to track it. You can track absolutely everything that goes on. That's the way it is. And you will do that via your ad center. So you might have, uh, I don't know if we go to here, uh, we'll look at the, uh, we'll look at the page. We're gonna look at some page. And you can, you can run them all for the same one. And we'll go to ad center. You can see the different ads running, active, active. You can see how many people you can reach, right? And then you can see here people reach, post engagements, links clicked, and that type of stuff. And you can see your spend, it's in dollars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Audiences, it will tell you who you're going out to. You can edit your audience. This is the one that we looked at where we set it up. And then all ads. You can see the ads that you've done, that you've spent, et cetera, et cetera, and event responses and what have you. So it's awesome. Uh, so if we were to go to view results, for instance, people reached, cost per event response, satisfied, yeah, satisfied. Link clicks, quite a few for that, event responses. So that's, you want them clicking, that's what you want. <clears throat> and you can see here, that was the NFL, that 80% were men and the rest were women. Uh, and you can see that they were aged, the men, 25 to 34, so the most, if you like, were between 18 and 54. So it helps you again, pick your audience for next time, narrow down that audience. So you're constantly working at these type of things. And there's so much more granular information that you can, that you can break it down into, you know, where they came from, where they clipped from, um, what country, what town, what city. So it's awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? Here's another one, just a personal page. I don't really get too a lot on, to be fair. Myself and Emmanuel Ezekiel, some videos, uh, the rent to HMO manual. Uh, the one that you guys will know about is the, this is, this is a group. So all of these ones here, so that's a page, 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 whereas this one is actually a group. So you can set up your own group. So for your pages is where you want to promote and boost stuff. You don't boost posts from a group. A group is more about education, sharing and helping others. And, you know, I keep this one private and that means that you can accept whoever you want. So how, I don't know how many got here, 1400 uh, members and just information here again about Emmanuel's documentary, the fire safety that we put out, um, Jack Brown's, HMO just put another one on, he's done doing well, well done. And you can also put in here, you can add events as well. You can add events into here, you can moderate and that type of thing. So a group, I don't know if it's really something that's gonna work for uh, other people out there, you're just happy to have your page, i.e. people that you don't know that don't really work with you. Pages are different. Then you'll have your Instagram, so this is a personal one. Again, this will automatically go out to, you do a post on here, automatically go onto Facebook. If you wanted to, you, you can choose not to. A uh, bit about Vicky's uh, charity ball there for the nurseries. And I haven't included nurseries on here either, um, simply because I can't, because it's um, uh, because of uh, Ofsted and that type of thing and all the rules of sharing images of children. And there's lots on there, obviously. So we have another two pages on Facebook for the nurseries. Um, so again, you can you can be very specific. So ours are in Stanford, the nurseries. So you can narrow right down to Stanford to town, and you know a five mile reach or something like that, um, or or a ten mile reach. And um, we tend to do about five miles because most people aren't going to travel much further than that to drop their kids off. So that's where we do it. Sometimes some marketing in London because a lot of people that, that come up here from London, but specifically they're going to be looking um, 
uh, to websites and that type of stuff for the local area. So you need to localize where you are as well, specifically for service accommodation, because you want to be making sure that you're focusing on your area. However, you also want to be advertising to the majority of people that are coming to you. Make sense? So you need to look through your, go through booking.com and you can find a lot of that information um, in the analytics part of where they book. And that's brilliant. And then that will help you put up your first ad. When you put up your first ad, then bang, 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 bang. You find out the type of demographics of people that are coming in and that type of thing. So that's that covered, right? Covered that. Instagram. So in here, when you're setting up this information on Instagram, you need to do it in notes. Um, and then copy it into there. Because if you do it, if you do it specifically in there, in in in, uh, in Instagram, it will be all over the shop. So you, you do it in notes and then exactly how you want it set up and then you will, will push it into, or copy and paste it into your Instagram page. Good? So again, that's not one I really promote. We have Wealth and Success Academy, we have Bill Nicholson. So to give you an idea, on the pub, we have narrowed down specifically who we want. Since since August the 4th, we've got almost 2,000 followers on Facebook and we've got on, on, uh, on Instagram, we have 4,613 followers to date since August 4th. So people will flock to you when you have something that they want and we've got Wealth and Success, we've got 3,000 followers on, on, on Facebook, et cetera, and I'm not sure, not that many, maybe five or 600 on, on Instagram. Um, we should be more, more prominent on here. Now, let me just show you also, this is a company that I use, Really Social Media. So a lot of the pics and that type of stuff are done by these guys. This is really social. It's a company that I use. To give you an idea for the pub, where we're getting two or three posts a day, uh, we're getting at least, I think, 10 posts a week. It we, we, we costs us about £300 a month. But, I mean, we're, we're, we're pushing it out there. So you can go in and see their customers, what their customers, who their customers are, what they do, all about them. And here you can see that theirs has popped up here. You'll get your own own login pricing and plans you can see your pricing you can do premiums you can do you know we i think we have premium plus or whatever but ours is specific to what we want which is a bespoke one so you can see here it doesn't cost you know it's not huge amounts of money and if you want an introduction let me know we, we don't win anything from it we just want you to win but really social are fantastic guys um ping me if you want to know their details so really social, you know, have a little tag on there at the bottom, really social. And I'll just stop sharing my screen now. And you'll click on really social and it will show your upcoming posts. And you can approve them, disapprove and that type of thing. And it shows you the content coming up and this is right up until the 15th of November. So do it quite, quite a bit ahead. And you can send them notes, send them messages, and they're very, very quick to respond. So great. And then obviously there's LinkedIn. There's a separate one for LinkedIn, a separate video for LinkedIn that we've done. Uh, and I'll, for those who haven't seen that, I'll just give you a quick, uh, uh, I'll just put the link in for you. And then you can you can watch that, but that's more for your corporate stuff. This what we're talking about here is everything. So it can be your tourists and and what have you. So where is it? LinkedIn. Uh, just pile your questions in too, guys. I think that's the one there. Excuse me if that starts making a noise. Tony Roberts is on. 
Okay, just skip some ads. Yeah, that is the one. Cool. So I'll just put that into the chat box now. And send. So that's the LinkedIn video that I've just sent you on YouTube. Okay, good. Let's go through the questions. So, good morning, 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 afternoon, and all of those people around the world. Yes, yes, please. Social media has yet got that. Uh, can you track the number of bookings you get through your boost of SP pass? Yes, you can, as long as the URL is all connected up, as you saw. Do you also advertise on LinkedIn for service partners? I don't know, but you can, definitely. And if you look at that link that I sent for the, the LinkedIn training specifically, I think that's about an hour long. What about your normal SA bookings? What about them? I'm, I'm not sure what that relates to. Do you use a VoIP telephone number for any advertising or for guests to contact you? <clears throat> I don't, but it's a great idea that you can do. Uh, we tend to get them to text us or message us. So you could see on that screen that we looked, you can get them to message you through either Messenger or uh, Facebook Messenger or through WhatsApp. Make sure you connect them up. Uh, simply because most people that we have staying are traveling from abroad and they don't want to be the cost of a telephone call. You know, a telephone call could cost them 10, 20 quid, something like that equivalent. So we get them to text. Do you use Rate Genie? Yes, absolutely. Rate Genie is great. But again, that's, that's something different that we'll talk about. Um. Okay, good. Or some, so some different questions here. Okay, Trish, I'll have a look at your, your channel manager because yeah, all of those, yes, is the answer is yes. Yes, James, I'll check on that. The, uh, the, uh, the official contracts, send it over and I'll have a look today. Uh, who runs your SA business previously, uh, but how exactly is this set up? Uh, okay, so that's quite a long answer. Um, the way it's set up is I very rarely go to the properties. Um, other people who live near the properties, as in within 10, 15 minutes, they manage the properties. I manage the majority of the online stuff, although a lot of that is now is now pushing out also to them as well. Um, but I'm always there watching and making sure things are happening. You know, even small things like, you know, you know, the cleaners locally. So for instance, Tony organizes all the cleaners. I haven't even met our cleaners. I don't know who they are, um, but I pay the bills, you know, get that paid. So you can choose to add your cleaners to your channel manager if you like. So if I were not, if I didn't work with someone else and have them running properties, i.e. looking after the groundwork, the door, the day to day stuff that I can't do remotely, there has to be someone there, then I would, if you didn't have somebody doing that, I would have your cleaners uh, a login and access to your channel manager, and you can give them certain access. So, what will happen is once your once the property is ready to clean, it will ping out that they now go and clean and that type of stuff. Otherwise, it's manual, it's texting. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be automating that through your channel manager. 
Good. And, and there's a whole load more stuff on that too, Paul, um, but we don't have time to go on that today. Maybe I'll do that as a separate webinar. I have a guest that checks out today. She's really angry and will leave a bad review for sure because the parking was not free. Our listing says it is not free. What is the best way to reply to a guest and that read properly? Okay, I would simply send a screenshot of of the, um, if it's on booking.com or wherever it is, send a screenshot of the, uh, of the ad and um, offer her, um, Perhaps, you know, in this case, as a goodwill gesture, we will actually pay for the parking. I don't know if it's 20 quid or whatever it was. If it was 50 quid, pay for half. Just as a goodwill gesture, Sam. That's what I would do. You know, <clears throat> just on that, I know that there is a lot of people out there who can be, in your own mind, absolute pricks, bastards, whatever you want to call them, because you know, you know, not even deep down, you know on the surface of everything that they're trying to, you know, dwindle you, uh, dwindle you out of money. Basically, nick money or they're trying to con you. And they always use reviews for this. That's what they do because it's like blackmail. That's what they're trying to do. So... What you need to do is take off the hat that says, I want to just uh, mash you up because, you know, you're affecting my business. What you do is, okay, no problem. Put the calm hat on. Okay, yeah, no problem. Here's a screenshot of our actual uh, listing. As you can see, it states in there clearly that there is no free parking. However, I wouldn't say, however, because you read it wrong or you didn't read it. However, in this case, we're willing to offer you a goodwill gesture and thank you for your business and hope that you'll return again and we will pay for the parking. Please send us your bank account details and we'll make a transfer today of 20 quid or 19 pound or whatever it is. Or if it's 50, 60 quid, so, you know, that's too much. You know, we're willing to go, you know, pay you half of the amount. Please let us know. Um, if you could, uh, if you could send us your bank details, we'll make a transfer today. And then what you can do is, if they do leave a shitty review, you can then respond on that review that this is what you've done to solve the problem. And then other people who will read the response will understand that it was just a little bit of a touchy guests. That's the way it is. Um, it could have been a business guest that's not allowed to claim parking had to pay it out of their own pocket. You don't know the circumstances. And this is the thing that we can't judge or perceive what's gone on. So you just need to, you know, do the right thing, manage your business, manage your guests, and, and you know, 20 quid here, 20 quid there is not going to make a difference on the, the big picture, the big scheme of things. Good. Right. Uh, yes, Mark, for JV accounts, you can use it through the solicitor, do it through the solicitor. You can get it put into an escrow account, E-S-C-R-O-W, escrow account, and just speak to your solicitor about that. Uh, it's the same thing that they use for, you know, like when, like when you, you know, there might be a client account that solicitors will call a client account. And you need to put that money in there or the person needs to put that money in there. It's then paid by into the account by the solicitor once the contracts have been signed and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So if I were the solicitor and I said, Mark, okay, you've got a you've got a, a business partner called John, and John is willing to put the money into your account, but eh, what's gonna happen with it? So you get the contract signed you will put the money into the, or John will put the money into the solicitor's client account. Once everything is signed off, and this is solicitor signing this off, you have that bit, you have that bit, and it could be acting on behalf of the solicitor for John, it could be their solicitor. Once they've all agreed, then the monies are released. Good. All right, guys.
I'm hoping that's helped you with the advertising and how to use social media uh, in a pretty much in a nutshell. You can, you know, I could spend a whole day here running through how to do Facebook ads and that type of thing for service accommodation, setting up pages. Don't set up a group, set up a page. And you know what? It's free. It's free until you start advertising and boosting. And you can set your limits from, you know, a tenner to, you know, a thousand, whatever you want to do. It's up to you how much you want to promote. And you can look at the promotions and you can say to yourself, okay, it's been running for three days. I've had absolutely no interactions. Then look at it and edit maybe the audience or, or wherever you're advertising for and that type of thing. Make sense? Good. All right, guys. Nice to see so many people on here today. Good. Good. Regulars, and we've got some other new ones back on. I call you new because you haven't been on for a while. Great. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day, and uh, chat to you through the week.